probably in 2025, we at Meta, as well as the other companies that are basically working on this, are going to have an AI that can effectively be a sort of mid-level engineer that you have at your company that can write code. Mm. And hey, data science fam, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into something super exciting and honestly, a bit mind-blowing. Mark Zuckerberg's statement about AI. According to him, in 2025, which is the current year, AI could code like mid-level engineers. Yep, you heard that right. AI, not humans, doing the coding. So let's break this down and see what this will really look like. Will AI replace coders or will it change the way we work entirely? Let's find out. Imagine a world where the day-to-day -day coding tasks, those repetitive, time-consuming jobs are handled by an AI that's as good as your average mid-level developer. We're not talking about science fiction anymore. This is already happening in small ways. Tools like GitHub Copilot acts as junior developers suggesting code, fixing errors, and completing functions based on context. But if AI is going to code like a mid-level engineer, it's going to need more than just syntax knowledge. It needs to understand the system design, architecture, and problem solving on a much deeper level. And a real world example was that a developer who was the early data up. A real life example was about a developer who was like one of the early adopters of the AI coding assistance. So this developer, he felt that these tools are not much of a help. Like they are often suggesting solutions that were too basic or incorrect. If we fast forward a couple of years, the developer's narrative changed. He was now praising how these AI tools had learned to navigate the complex code bases, reducing the debugging time by hours. And if an AI can jump from being a nonsense and the helpless tool, and if and if an AI can jump from being a nonsense tool to an asset in such a short span, then imagine the leap beyond 2025. And here on X. Zuck said that in 2025, Meta, as well as other companies, will have an AI that can effectively be a mid-level engineer that you have at your company that can write code. In the beginning, that will be very expensive to run. Then at some point, a lot of the code we have in our apps will be built by AI engineers instead of people engineers. In my opinion, that will augment the people working on it. My view is that in the future, people will be so much more creative and freed up to do crazy things. And this is the video here by Mark Zuckerberg. Uh -huh. I think is... this year, probably in 2025, we at Meta, as well as the other companies that are basically working on this, are going to have an AI that can effectively be a sort of mid-level engineer that you have at your company that can write code. Mm. And once you have that, then in the beginning, it'll be really expensive to run, and then you can get it to be more efficient. And then over time, we'll get to the point where a lot of the code in our apps and, and including the AI that we generate is actually going to be built by AI engineers instead of people engineers. But, but I don't know. I, I think that that'll augment the people working on it. So I mean, my, my view on this is like, the future, people are just going to be so much more creative and are going to be freed up to do kind of crazy things. It goes back to, you know, my daughter was like playing with Legos before and mm -hmm. they kind of ran out of Legos. And then now she can have Minecraft and can build whatever she wants and it's so much better. It's just like, I think it's the future versions of this stuff are just going to be wild, but unquestionably. So scrolling down now for AI to code like a human engineer, like several technological advancements are needed. First of all, you need advanced natural language processing, means advanced NLP is needed to understand the complex, often the ambiguous requirements that developers deal with daily, and even context awareness. Now, AI might not just suggest code, but understand the project's entire context, from dependencies to the overarching system architecture. Even the AI should know how to handle the errors and also know how to debug. 
Now beyond writing code, AI must excel at identifying and fixing errors, something that currently requires human intuition. And also learning from mistakes. Now just like human developers who learn from their mistakes, AI needs to learn from its coding blenders to improve over time. Now the big question is where all of you might have this question that what happens to developers if AI can replace them? Will developers lose their job? Well, history shows that technology usually changes job roles rather than eliminating them entirely. So you can have some new kind of roles in the job market such as like AI code supervisors or AI integration specialists where the human touch ensures that the AI generated code it fits into the broader project context or adheres to ethical standards. And of course, when AI is coming, then the educational landscape also would need to pivot, means it has to change also, means it might not be as important to teach future developers how to write code from scratch. Instead, it will be about AI literacy, knowing how and when to use AI in development, designing systems that integrate AI, and understanding the ethics behind it all. And also another important question, ethics and legal considerations. But with great power comes with great responsibility. If AI is writing the code, who's responsible when something goes wrong? What about biases in the code or privacy issues? These are the questions we'll need to tackle as AI becomes more integrated into the coding process. In conclusion, so what's the bottom line here? Mark Zuckerberg's vision is bold and in 2025, we might just see AI coding at a level we never thought possible. But it also means a major shift in how we think of our developers, AI, and the future of tech. While it might not replace coders completely, it will definitely change the game. In another blog, so here it says about the AI's role. So it was augmentation, not total replacement. Zuckerberg's prediction isn't entirely wrong. AI will impact how developers work. So however, replacing programmers entirely is a different challenge. And even industry leaders, including Frank Kois Cholet, creator of Heras and AI expert, he argued that AI will change how coding is done rather than eliminating software engineering jobs outright. And even Chole envisions a future where AI enables programming without needing to write explicit code, means similar to how low code and no code platforms function today. So instead of traditional coding, developers will describe the desired outcome and AI will generate the implementation. However, AI models will still need human oversight, correction, and problem-solving abilities. And there's also the next question that who will be most affected? So according to a study by Felton, Raj, and Siemens, the industries and occupations most exposed to AI's advancement in language modeling include software development, legal services, financial sectors, teaching, and academia. Now, the paper also found that the higher paying professions tend to be more exposed to AI disruption. And however, the exposure doesn't always mean replacement. It can also mean augmentation and increased productivity. It means you can also use AI to increase your productivity rather than just thinking that AI will replace you. And here there's also the question that which developers are at risk. Now, some developers will be affected more than others and the impact depends on the experience level job role and the type of work performed the people who are at high risk means doing those tasks that ai can automate easily these are junior developers who write simple scripts and boilerplate code quality assurance testers who perform manual test case execution and even basic website development example static sites simple crude apps, routine bug fixing, and debugging. At medium risk are those AI assists that doesn't fully replace. So mid-level engineers performing structured software development, system administrators, and DevOps engineer who configure and automate environments, even technical support engineers handling common troubleshooting tasks. The people who are at low risk means they're AI proof and AI cannot replace them. 
human expertise is irreplaceable. So these are those senior software engineers who architect the complex systems, machine learning engineers who are developing the AI itself, cybersecurity experts handling evolving threats, research scientists and AI ethicists guiding the responsible development of AI and even creative software developers which are working on the cutting edge innovation. These are some of the questions that I answered in the video for you to understand whether you will be replaced by AI or not. As always, I want to know your thoughts. Do you think AI will replace coders in 2025 or do you think it will just change the way we work? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more AI updates. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.